Okay, so let me just realize that like, clean with me's are like extremely, you know, boring and like played out in a lot of ways because it's like how many times are you gonna clean the same place? You know what I mean? But um, anyway, <laughs> I thought of a new subject to kind of talk about because I've had this lately just because of things that have kind of happened in my life and you know, just I don't know. Like I want to talk about being biracial and like <clears throat> some of the issues I guess that I've had <laughs> like just relating to people making friends and stuff like that like it's it's kind of a lonely life I'm not gonna lie I don't know if other biracial people have experienced it um it's just like one of those things where you feel like you have friends sometimes but then you know something kind of like happens to where you like realize that you're different from them ultimately and sometimes you just don't ever feel like you have a real connection like I don't know I, I don't know I, I guess that's just my experience you know maybe I'm a little weird that way but again this is just me talking about being biracial um I guess what I mean by having trouble relating to people is just the fact that sometimes I'll say things that offend people like I'll be around black people and I'll say something and they'll be offended because I said it and it's like but I'm black too I thought because of the one drop rule you know so it only works for you know you until you get offended and then all of a sudden I'm white like it's it's kind of a weird conundrum like being mixed because you often feel like you can't say things like white people have never told me flat out like you know things that I've said have made them uncomfortable but later on like finding out through other people you know it, it comes out to be that things that I may have said offended them too and I just was like oh my gosh like I really can't say anything to anybody like I, I just I don't know maybe just race in general is a subject that I should just stay away from since I'm in this predicament where it's like you look at me and you might think I'm black or you might think I'm white depending on how I have my hair or you might think I'm Mexican or you might think I'm Puerto Rican or you might think I'm some other shit, who knows? I've got hit with pretty much every race on the planet except for Asian. That's one thing that I've never been able to pass for. I stand almost six feet off the ground, I would imagine. I mean, why, <laughs> you know, I can kind of figure that one out. But um, it's just, a weird thing like being you know biracial and like having to deal with people like sometimes they just don't understand you know like and um you know I don't know like sometimes I don't know what I can do to kind of like change the way people feel about me you know like I can't very well change my nature my demeanor the way that I speak you know the, the choices of words that I use like I can't change that to make people feel better it's usually black people that get offended and it's usually because they deem me as white because of the way that I obviously talk and it's like I'm not pretending this way this is just the way that I guess I was raised like my mother god rest her soul she's no longer with us but she was a white woman and so I guess maybe I took after her in like a lot of ways, but I never negate the fact that I'm black. I never forget my father. He's very much alive and very much in my life. And, and I very much enjoy that. And I love him and have a wonderful relationship with him. And, and now he has a wonderful relationship with my daughter. So, I mean, I don't have that typical like black girl you know experience or you know not typical black girl see there I go saying things that might be offensive let, let me take it back let me just say I have had a father in my life so I've someone's life like it's typical for a lot of black people not all not all not all not all my dad had a dad in his life obviously so he was able to be a father you know and I want the same for my maintain good ties with him you know and make sure that he wants to see her and stuff and if you know he has to see me too then like I, I know that there may be some other mixed people in the world obviously and I don't know have you ever had an experience where you just felt like you did not fit in <laughs> like 
I mean, you're you're kind of a weird combination. So maybe you do like rock and roll, or maybe you do like hip hop at the same time, or maybe you like R&B and you like classical, you know, or you, you find yourself in this weird middle ground where it's like some things interest you and then some things on the other side interest you. And it's like, you don't know where you fit in because you can't really go, you know what I mean? Maybe hopefully now that the world is changing and the world is becoming more mixed. Maybe there will be more places for people like me in the world where we can like rock and vibe with each other and we can all get along. But yeah, like it's kind of a weird spot. I wouldn't say that I got bullied or anything. Like some mixed people actually got bullied, I know, for being mixed and having a different look, having different kind of hair and stuff like that. Like there was one experience where some girls put <clears throat> some kind of like uh, lotion in my hair. And like after that, I never really like wore my hair down in high school again, which is fucking crazy to say and admit now. But yeah, after that happened, because I just have so much hair and when I let it down, I can't see what's happening, you know, behind me and stuff like that. I would never, you know, let my hair down again because I was afraid that somebody would do something like that. You know, I guess they felt that my hair looked dry, so they felt like they needed to put lotion in it. Not realizing that that's just, you know, what when you brush curly hair it just naturally turns into like a frizz even though it may be oiled it may be moisturized just fine when you comb you know curly hair it just automatically gets frizzy look it just automatically does it just was fine before and you know what all I gotta do is put a little water right back in here and it'll go right back to fine hair you know but <clears throat> the thing is is like People were like making fun of me for that and like after that experience that one time I sat it was like a, a situation where I was a freshman and I me and my best friend at the time we sat in the sophomore section where I thought you know another friend of mine was sitting and turned out not to be a friend <laughs> you know obviously you know sometimes you just you mistake people, you know, for your friend, you know, just because they're nice to you in the moment, you know, they don't really have your back overall. Like this girl was behind me and I knew her, I knew her. So when I saw her, I sat by her or sat in front of her with my best friend. We sat on the very bottom and the other girls were like a bleacher set above or two. And, you know, I said hi to her, whatever. And <clears throat> me and my friend were just vibing. And then you know, by the end of the auditorium, like we just ended up getting up and, you know, my friend was like, oh my gosh, like you have all this lotion in your hair. Like somebody just threw it in there, you know, and I had no idea. And the girl that I had sat near and like said hi to was right behind me and didn't say shit. Like she saw it happening and like didn't, maybe they were picking on me because I was a freshman, you know, maybe they were picking on me because my hair was frizzy, you know, I don't know. But I, like I said, I can't help my hair texture, you know what I mean? Like people are weird for that, you know, like that was extremely rude, but people do stuff like that in high school, you know, and it gets, it gets annoying because I probably, you know, did something like that, like to someone else as I got older, I probably did something like that to some other in high school. So that's why, like I said, I, I don't hold it against those girls. I'm not like bent out of shape about it you know like I eventually got over it and started wearing my hair down again I just had to get out of high school to do it you know what I mean but you know um that's kind of a sad story when you think about it like oh couldn't wear my hair down in high school like oh but yeah I probably could I just didn't you know <clears throat> like I said I have a lot of hair if you've seen my hair video you know I have a lot of hair so back then it was kind of a risk to wear my hair down anyway because you may have had bitches that may have wanted that's just a, a funny story that i had to think about and let out you know like being mixed sometimes is weird you know it's like you don't i mean there's there weren't any other girls running around with hair like this in my school um just understand that being biracial is different and weird and so if you've ever come across a biracial person and they've kind of rubbed you the wrong way <clears throat> understand that don't take it personal they're probably just weird like me you know <laughs> like we're just weird and so don't take stuff personal like 
just understand that we come from a weird place. And so, you know, we don't always know where to come from to talk to a normal, you know, not a normal, because I am a normal person, but like, uh, I guess, a person that is just singularly, a singular ethnicity, is that the word selection I'm looking for? I don't know, whatever. You know what I mean. Whether you're just Caucasian or just African American or just Hispanic or just Chinese, you know, Chinese or Japanese, whatever you are, if you're not mixed in any kind of way, like your experience is different than a mixed person. And you have to understand whether you're mixed with Asian and black or you're black and white or you're white and Native American, like being mixed is a different experience. And you can't can't hold it against us if we don't always know what to say you know because we don't know where to come from so i don't know just something to chew on think about